come back to this weekend's project. I promised you guys I would return, and return I have. For anyone who understands anything about having a YouTube channel, it takes a lot to keep it running. It takes a lot to commit to a schedule to keep it running. If I tell you as the viewer that I'm going to be releasing a video every single Sunday, I better do it or you will lose interest. And that was my biggest problem. It's a juggle between the things that need to happen in life, which is repairs and things, maintenance to the house, to your lawn. It's the family, the necessities, work. I do have a nine to five. So I do work my Monday through Friday, hence my whole weekend's project channel. And in between all that, I have to bring in you guys on the weekend when I'm supposed to be taking my son out for the bike ride or just paying attention to my kids. So it's very, very time consuming. Um, but nevertheless, I'm back. What have I done in the last month or so since I've been gone? There have been things I've done to this car. Uh, as you can see, it's not riding on the 20 inch uh, MKX wheels anymore. They really weren't doing it for me. Okay. I really felt that that wasn't the look I was looking for. I thought I was. In fact, for many, many years, those are the wheels that I really wanted for the town car. But after finally putting it on this town car, putting the wheels on this town car, I just wasn't feeling them. I wasn't. And it kind of sucks because they were beautiful. They're expensive wheels. And it happens to me that I just sold them this morning. So they're gone. They are gone. After years of me owning those wheels and having them in the shed, finally putting them on this car, and then only to realize, not for me. So we must move on. What else have I done? Um, on my white 2004 Lincoln Town Car, when I bought the car, uh, it came with a sound system. It came with a Sony uh, double din head unit which has been residing in my F-150 ever since. Uh, and it came with a 15 inch Memphis Audio subwoofer and a 3600 watt uh, amplifier. When I sold the car, those are things that do not add value to the car. So I put the original stereo back on, I pulled the subwoofer, pulled everything out of that white town car, and I sold it as OEM as original as possible. Um, I've had that in my backyard, sorry, had that in my black trailer for the last couple of years. And I figured it was time to install it. So take a look at what I did. So before we get into it, let me start by explaining that I added this. For those of you that know, you know. And tell you what, if you think you know, you know, comment. Tell me where this came from. I just think it's cool because that doesn't exist here. Especially down here in Florida. Anyway, 15 inch Memphis audio speaker. And a 3,200 watt Hyphonics amp. That beast has blown a couple 10 inch speakers already in the past. So yeah, it's, uh, it's powerful. I'm going to take a wild guess that this is the first time that anybody has ever pulled this uh, back seat out bunch of garbage garbage I like to know what that little disc is for probably the toy um, oh yeah more garbage um, more garbage look at that mmm yummy yeah I mean got myself a pencil sharpener um, keys another key over here I'm not having fun. All right, so this is it. Sorry, I said 3600, it's 3200 watt Hyphonics amp, 15 inch Memphis audio speaker. And I wired it through the passenger side into the uh, cabin and out to the engine bay. Um, very clean install. Um, I did put a couple of 
zip ties just to keep everything nice and dandy. I should put a zip tie on this right here too. My OCD won't let me continue the video unless I had done that. Okay, so what did I do in the car? I added this head unit, okay? It's kind of fed up with uh, the original head unit. It was very, very glitchy. Um, it was time to get something that'll do the job. This is a very cheap head unit from eBay. I wasn't looking for anything outrageous and it does exactly what I need. It has Bluetooth capabilities and I'm sorry, the sun is just destroying the image, but it's got Bluetooth, it's got stereo, I could play things via USB. It's got a, uh, a small SD card there that I can play audio and video off of. It does the job, you know? I don't need anything too crazy, okay? See, I can view files, photos. I'm sure you guys can enjoy that. Okay, and then down here, I've got the on and off switch for the amp. So I can actually, I've got my family in here. I don't need to have the amp on at all. And if I do, I can control it. And I think the minimum is about 400 amps, 400 watts. Oh my God, 400 amps, yeah. 400 watts, okay, which makes it very, very, very light. And then the opposite end of the spectrum pushes all 3,600. Um, honestly, unless I'm out here on my driveway, and I want to mess with my wife inside the house. I usually keep it just around maybe six to eight hundred watts, and that's about it. I really don't push it any further. It's the system that came in with my white town car, so you know I enjoy it for what it is, but I don't push it because I don't. I feel like I don't need it. I don't need all 30, 30 200 watts. Uh, very enjoyable. something like this all over again something else I did to the town car uh, this past weekend is I took apart this entire door panel um, and I replaced the driver door module for the locks the keypad outside and the key fob those were not working when I bought the car and I knew it was the module that needed to be replaced and here's the old module okay Used to be where this was either a pocket item at the junkyard or you might get them for 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Now, you're lucky if you find them for a minimum of $80 on eBay. Local junkyard, if you remember from my previous video, only has one Lincoln Town Car right now and it is a water damaged town car. I'm not even gonna bother going to the junkyard for that because, well, again, water damage. So what do I have left to do? What do you guys anticipate coming in the next few videos? <sighs> so I've got my wife's Nissan Altima getting some work done. As soon as that car comes back, this one goes in. It's one at a time, guys, okay? Um, this one goes in. I've gotta go to my buddy's house in Sebring, Florida to pick up the header panel um, that he's got for my truck. And then once that truck comes back, the town car is gonna get the full paint job. You guys recall that town car only got from the rear doors back where the Landu top was. And the front really didn't get painted. So while it does look beautiful, it does have a lot of imperfections on the original paint. If you stand up close, that's where you can see the imperfections. Clear coat is gone on this fender. Hood has a lot of tiny little scratches. This fender has a major scratch on it there. Okay. Car's dirty, so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look right at all right now. But another scratch right there. It's been about five weeks since I buffed it. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but in real life, you can see the difference between the rear door and the front door. So she will be finished. 
and then she will be wet sanded buffed just done correctly the whole car needs to be done um needs to be done right so that's where we're at that's what we have left to do um we've got other projects unfortunately and ironically it's the, the project that i started uh my channel with which is a 2009 f-150 the uh 12th gen so i had my painter body shop guy come over here and he gave me the bad news that unfortunately it's too far gone the rust is just there's just too much i got the truck for free so i'm not losing anything um it's just unfortunate it's such a good good looking truck runs fine cranks great but unfortunately it's just too far gone so we're back in the groove of things and i am looking forward to starting this all over again every sunday i'll see what i can do now in may for the anniversary of the channel let's see what we can do something special has got to happen and i'll see you guys around okay i'm tired got a lot of stuff to do i'm sure you saw when i opened the trunk the subwoofers or some uh the box and another package i actually got to take them over there to my mechanic it's for the ultima for the transmissions the valve body and typical nissan transmission issues that i'm working on um so i gotta head out to that now and i'll see you guys next weekend thank you for coming back or thank you for sticking around if you guys have been watching uh my previous videos and i look forward to uh making these every week again okay thank you for watching guys i'll see you guys next weekend